Hello. Welcome back. Right, as you know, uh, a few days ago, four or five days ago, um, I got Tom Waits' Big Time on coloured vinyl over there, as you can see. Um, but it turned out it was a bootleg. Ripped off again. Well, to be honest, sure, it's quite novel. I haven't played it yet. Um, but anyway. Dun, 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 dun. So I thought I'd have a little unbox. And then, uh, but I do think it is the original album from Discogs. That is on now. Proper tight. So, I hope you're all all right. It's the weekend. After a hard week at work, it's nice. A couple of days off to chill out. I want also, before I unbox this completely, thank you all so much for your kind comments on uh, me and my little brother's song, The Banging In Your Head. Really nice. Right. Wowzy. I know what you're thinking. We well, you can see it in the background, but I tell you, I don't know, you can tell the difference in the cover. Right, let's have a little look at the actual record. Right, so it's in a plain black. I don't think it originally did come that way, but. I'll leave it out. It's lovely. This is 180 gram, but clean, really clean. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Got it. Another one off my Tom Waits list. I know I said many, many times I don't want to collect doubles, but when I accidentally buy a bootleg, like I had Bone Machine, like I did Rain Dogs, like I did Big Time, even though it's shallow vinyl and it might play lovely. Um, I want an official Tom Waits album. And this is Boom. Well, happy about that. Now, what one would you play? What one do I play? I've got to play the original, haven't I? Yeah. And then I might I might do a little comparison of the two, but you know, I probably won't actually. I'll just play it at some point. Oh, I'm quite excited about this. It's a lot, obviously a live album. Well, what do we know about Tom Waits' Big Time? Big Time is the first conventional live album by Tom Waits, released September 1988. Featuring performances from two shows on Waits' 1987 tour. The album was released less than a year later on Island Records. While Big Time was the first released recording of a public concert performance by Waits, it was not strictly his first live release. His 1975 Nighthawks at the Diner was a live performance before an audience and was conducted entirely within a recording studio. Most songs on Big Time, except Falling Down and Strange Weather, which was written for Marianne Faithful, uh, are from Sawfish Trombones, Rain Dogs and Frank's Wild Years. There's also Ruby's Arms, which was a beautiful song, uh, taken from Heart Attack and Vine, and Red Shoes, or Red Shoes by the Drugstore, uh, as it is on Blue Valentine. It sounds nothing like the one on Blue Valentine at all. But predominantly, Big Time is from the trilogy. In efforts to promote Frank's Wild Years, Waits began an historic tour of North America and Europe in October of 1987. 
The tour incorporated a theatrical aspect as Frank's Wild Years was recorded based on a play written by Waits himself about his then alter ego, Frank O'Brien. Wapes described his alter ego, who first showed up on Sawfish Trombone, as Quite a guy. He grew up in a bird's eye, frozen, oven ready, rural American town, where Bing, Bob, Dean, Wayne, and Jerry are considered major constellations. Frank mistakenly thinks he can stuff himself into their shorts and present himself to an adoring world. He is a combination of Will Rogers and Mark Twain playing the accordion without the wisdom they possess. He has a poet's heart and a boy's sense of wonder of the world, a legend in Rainsville since he burnt his house down and took off for the big time. The theatrical play, which premiered on June 17th, 1986, at Chicago's Briar Street Theatre, ran for two months and received mixed reviews. I would love to have gone to see that show so much. Five of the final shows in North America were held at San Francisco's Warfield Theatre, Los Angeles' Wilton Theatre in November 87, shortly before Waits and his band left for Europe. Waits and his wife Kathleen Brennan then proposed the idea of releasing the recorded live footage as a concert film, originally titled Crooked Time. Brennan played a large role in the development and the eventual production of the idea. Thank you very much, Kathleen, for that. Big Time the Movie was released at the Toronto Film Festival on the 15th of September, 1988. And it squandered a rare opportunity, the chance to film Tom Waits, one of Rock's original and meticulous character actors in a theatrical concert tailored to his weird and wonderful eccentricities. I'm not going to do a ramble about the film, maybe in another video, but I would love to see this on Blu-ray. Come on, Criterion. Someone? An island? Anyway. Songs from the movie that was not on the soundtrack are Just Another Sucker on the Vine, Ninth and Hennepin, Frank's Wild Years, Shame, but you know, you, you gotta have the film, really. Uh, Hang on, St. Christopher again. Uh, I'll take New York, Innocent When You Dream, More Than Rain, and Shore Leave. Bloody fantastic stuff! Can't wait to give it a listen. So, at last, I'm gonna get to play Tom Waits' Big Time. Shall we do this? Let's do this. Let's get me pins on. Side one. is really clean. I'll be back in a little while. Good evening. Fantastic. Makes me want to go and watch the film now. Which I probably might do that actually. Saturday now. So yeah, maybe tonight. I slip it on downstairs. Lose myself for an hour and a half. Okay. So. For an album bought on Discog second hand. I was well, well impressed. I'm actually going to leave the guy some feedback. I've never really done all this before. I'm a little bit new to Discogs. Um, but yeah. 
hardly any surface noise, you know, I mean, it's a live album anyway. But I always found the CD to um, Big Time to be a little quiet compared to the other Tom Waits albums. But this was full punch, sounded great. So let's quickly buzz through the tracks. Now, there's only six tracks aside on here. And on the, the compact disc, there's 18. So there's quite a few more omitted from here. But the ones that was chosen for this are stellar. Right. Side one, track one. Kicks off with 16 shells from a 30 or 6. This just is like, hello, we're here. Bang. Uh, full of clangs, booms and whistles and all of that. Tom's got a growly holler. And Ribbo's guitar solo on this, simply mustard. It totally fits with Tom Waits' music, the way them two just work together. Um, and then it's followed by track two, Red Shoes. Um, this open, The opening to Red Shoes on this version is, um, it reminds me of them Saharan belly dance kind of music going on. This is a Blue Valentine song, uh, but it sounds nothing like the one uh, on Blue Valentine. It's got a crazy organ going throughout the whole background. Absolutely terrific. That's followed by Cold, Cold Ground. And I love this. Kind of has a sort of a cowboy movie, harmonica, flavour going right the way through it. Tom just on the guitar. Beautiful, beautiful song. Um, yeah, sounded great and all. Perfect performance, Mr. Waits. Perfect. I love that. Um... <laughs> then track four, I think we should move into the religious material. Way down in the hull. Um, obviously from Frank's Wild Years. Um, I've done a video on Frank's Wild Years, I've done a vinyl first play, so. But Way Down in the Hull is fantastic about that crazy pair of preacher. Um, in track five, is Falling Down. And this sounds like it was actually recorded in the studio. Um... And I don't remember it in the film. So it's thrown me that one, but I'm going to have to watch that again. Um, oh, here we go. It had a little star next to Falling Down. It says, recorded and mixed by Bill Dawes at Sunset Sound, LA. Okay. Obviously it did. It was recorded in the studio. Um, and then that's followed by track six. Strange. Weather. And this originally appeared on Marianne Faithfull's uh, album Strange Weather, uh, released 1987, uh, which Tom Waits wrote, and I think Tom nails this. Uh, musically and lyrically, it's genius. It's absolutely genius. Um, I just love it. It evokes such wonderful images. Honestly, I employ her. Find a decent copy of Strange Weather by Tom Waits. Um, get a decent pair of headphones if you can for a live performance and just sit back and drift away. It is absolutely sublime and a perfect close to side one. Then we flip over to side two and we come back with clang, booms and bashes, big black Mariah. Obviously from Rain Dogs, uh, and this is like a hint of things to come, you know, with the old banging and clamming and, you know, when you think they're real gone. Um, that's followed by Rain Dogs. The performance on this, second to none, it's a superb version of a classic song. Uh, and watching this on uh, the movie Big Time reminds me of... Uh, the Alley Cats in uh, the Disney cartoon, the Aristocats, you know. They, and the band seems to all sort of like enclose onto one another. It is amazing. The whole lot of them work so well together, enveloping around Tom, doing what Tom does best. I would have... I would love to have been there and watched that live. Incredible. That's followed by a train song. And this is a little reminiscent of... Um, 
early weights, you know, lovely piano ballad, but it's got a really, really quirky, funny, Tom Waits does these stories, little tales, and, you know, someone actually asked Tom, is it possible to get pregnant without intercourse? His answer was wonderful, his little story. Uh, beautiful, and it's sung with such heart, such heart. <laughs> right, and that's followed by telephone call from Istanbul. Now, I, st I actually prefer this, I think, to the album version. I love the album version. But this one, I defy anyone who calls himself a music person to sit still. I can't. I physically can't. It's just got it all going on, you know. And, well... I just can't sit still. It's that good to me. It's one of just one of them ones. Right, and then that's followed by track five, Gun Street Girl. And this is a brilliant version of the Rain Dogs classic. Um, and Ribbo's guitar on this. And, well, and the percussion. Well, all of them. All of them. And Tom growling. <laughs> Tip top. And then um, it finishes uh, with track six, Time. And another one, reaching back a little bit to some earlier weights, you know, like Piano Ballad. It first appeared on T-Bone Burnett's album, T-Bone Burnett. Obviously written by Tom Waits. Um, it's a glorious... Cl this is a gorgeous close to this album. It really is that good. I mean, yeah, there is some songs that are on the CD that would be nice to have on vinyl. I have both. There's songs on the film that ain't on either. But I do have them all on a special edition CD that I made a long, long time ago. So I'm going to have to give the guy some good feedback for a second-hand record. Look at the cover. Well happy. Well happy. I'm very tempted. I'm actually, do you know what I'm going to do? I think before I go down and edit all this... I think I'm going to give the yellow one a little play. So, uh, hopefully it'll sound nice. Because I really did enjoy this. Really did. Um, I'm going to actually credit the musicians and everyone involved on the this soundtrack at the end of the video. Um, purely and simply because they all just deserve it. Fan-bloody-tastic. Don't forget, uh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And I do have a Patreon page if you would like to help with that. That would be wonderful. If not, no biggie. Um, have yourselves a great weekend, guys. I'll be back with another ramble real soon. Take care.